Hello, this is Quentin Worm, ATG Technical Specialist with another Tech Tuesday video. Today I will be showing you how to add a if statement to a yes no parameter. You can see I already have a bookshelf with four shelves on it. And on the left you can see my yes no parameter for four shelves. And today I'm going to show you how to turn on and off with the if statement of three shelf and four shelves. So I'm gonna create a new parameter. I'm gonna name it three shelves. I'm gonna make it an instance, change the type to yes, no, and group to visibility. And now that I have that created, I'm gonna go in and create my three shelves. First, I gotta add in my three reference planes. Now that I have my three reference planes, I'm gonna add an equals to dimension to them. Now they have all equal spacings. I'm gonna add in my shelves. I'm just gonna put them in at a random size and Fix that in a minute. Now that I have all those in there, I'm going to use the multiple alignment tool to lock these to the inside of the bookshelf. Now that I have all those locked in place, I am going to add my dimension for the thickness of the shelves. I'm going to select all three of them and up here under my label, I'm going to change that to bookshelf thickness. Right. Now that I have all those correct and in place, create. I'm going to change this to my left side and attach it to the back of it for the correct depth. And now that I have my three shelves selected over here in the properties, under the visibilities, I'm going to click the little box for the associate families parameter. And you can see my three shelves and four shelves. I'm going to apply the three shelves yes no parameter to it. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to update the materials. Now that I have that made, we can work on the if statement. And so the if statement is pretty simple. We have if height is greater than four foot, one greater than two, and two greater than one. So we have our condition yes and no. And so our condition is, is if the height is greater than four foot, so four foot greater than six foot, it is turned off. And if the height is greater than, so if the four foot is greater than six foot, it is turned on. So as you can see, six foot is greater than four foot, so it is turned off. And it's the same with the four shells but instead of greater than, we change it to less than. And so you can see greater than six foot is greater than four foot, so it's turned on. And if we were to change that to three foot, you can see it turns the four shelves off and then turns three shelves on. And so I'll just turn that back to six foot but when you have this say if i put it at four foot they're both turned on and so with that i like to change the four shelves from four foot to four foot one and so that changes it to where anything four foot and under is three shelf and anything four foot one and above is four shelves so if you turn that back to six foot, four shells turns on, 
and hit F4 for so it. Three shells turned on. Now that we have that created, we'll add that into our model. Go to a three view. As you can see, it has the three shell system on because we have it set to four foot. And if we just change that back to six foot or anything above four foot one, it turns into the four shell system. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.